Hey everybody, it's Fred and welcome to The Shed. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Over the past year, I've enjoyed making these videos for you guys. It's given me the chance to share my views on the music I love, music I've been a part of making, and the music I continue to make today. Sharing my thoughts, experiences, and observations has been really fun and rewarding. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This little community that we've created together has been a blessing and it's really kept me going when I needed it most. But even though I've shared so many of my thoughts and experiences, I've never really gotten too personal. That's going to change today because I want to talk about something intensely personal. It's not something I would have felt comfortable talking publicly about in the past, but with this community that we've built, I feel safe doing it. For me, being a musician has been a great blessing. I feel incredibly lucky, and when I took a break from music a few years ago, I missed it terribly. For me, there's always been upsides and downsides to doing music for a living. Uh, being a touring musician meant I was away from my family for extended periods of time, and when you're a father of young children, that's a huge sacrifice. This is a topic I've been thinking about a lot lately. Those of you who saw my video from last week about Dave Grohl's touring documentary, What Drives Us, know that this is something that I feel pretty strongly about. And just like anything else that I feel strongly about, it usually comes out in my music. And this was the origin of the new Color Fred song, Right I Left, currently out on all streaming platforms. I wonder. I took all the questions and self-doubt I had about leaving my family home and going on tour and I put it into this song and I think it's one of the most emotional songs I've ever written. So make sure you check it out if you haven't heard it yet. So while that song is me asking myself questions about my decision to go off and play shows, today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to talk to the people that were most affected by this decision I'm going to talk to my kids and get their perspective on that time. As their dad, I've always wondered what their perspective was on all of that. And I've also always wondered whether history would be kind to me or not. And to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what to expect. So we're going to find out together. All right, guys, I am here for the first time ever on camera with my three children uh, next to me is my youngest, Evie Jane. Next to her is my oldest, Lily. And on the end is my boy, Scout, the middle child. And I want to thank you guys for doing this because I know I had to pretty much bribe you to do it. And I really appreciate uh, you doing it for your dad. So the first question I had for you guys is... Growing up, when did you realize your dad's job was a little different from most people's? Well, I didn't even think of it as a job, actually. It was just basically, yeah, my dad is in a band. It was just, um, I would ask my little kindergartner, five-year-old friends, Hey, do you know the band Taking Back Sunday? And they would all say, no. <laughs> and I would say, my dad is in that band. And that's kind of all it was. It wasn't a job. It was... Yeah, that, that was my next question is, what was your understanding of, of that whole music thing? And, you know, did your friends at school know about it? But I seem to remember before any of your friends that one of you had a teacher that was a fan of Taking Back Sunday. Was it your oh. teacher? Uh huh. Yes. All right. A lot. Yeah. Well, yeah. What, what what grade was that? Do you remember? I think it was second grade. Your second grade teacher. Yeah. Yeah. She, I remember. Like I met her a couple of times, and she was she was pretty excited. So the 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 big thing that I'm getting at in this interview is, you know, do you remember how you felt when I left for tour? Now I know Evie. You were uh, born 2007, which was uh, the year that I, after that year, I left Taking Back Sunday. So you were pretty much a baby and very small during all the Color Fred touring and terrible things. But uh, Lily was around even for the Breaking Pangea stuff. Do you, do you remember when I used to leave for months at a time, you guys? Yeah. 
Do, do you remember, was that hard? I didn't really understand that you even left until you were coming back and we were like, yay, dad's home. <laughs> I didn't understand, because I was... Yeah, actually, you were very young. Yeah. It's hard to remember any kind of actual emotion that was felt at that age, but it's easy to remember the things that you would do at that age. So... I remember crying, but I don't remember what it felt like. I mean, I was always hoping that you were too young, that it, you know, maybe it wouldn't stick with you. Um, but do you guys remember any specific instance where you wish I would have been home and I wasn't? Scout, do you remember anything? You sound like you want to say something. I don't well, know. Do you remember anything or not? I think something. Uh, yeah. What? I don't know. I just remember... You leave him for a while. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, you'd like send stuff to us. <laughs> yeah, I'd always buy something. Uh, like I remember in New Orleans, remember I bought those necklaces. And yeah. They were like monkeys. and. I still have those in my... You still? Yeah, I do. I, st <laughs> I actually look at them like every time I go through my drawers, I see them. Cause <laughs> I was going to say, sometimes I think... I can't remember my childhood that well, and that maybe it's because you weren't there, or I don't remember, I feel like I should be able to remember you being there more, but it was, it's a lot of Ma, but it's also a lot of you because I remember um, how much you music that you put into our lives. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. It was hard, like, the way that I remember it was I would be gone for about close to two months, and then, but then when I came home, I felt better because I would basically have, like, three weeks off, and I would just be with you guys 24-7 for those three weeks. I would meet you at the bus stop, and I would teach Scout the drums or, uh, you know, whatever it was. Wagon to the bagel store. Yeah, take the wagon. You guys would get in the wagon and <laughs> I'd take you up to the bagel store. That's awesome you remember that. Of course. <laughs> of course I remember that. <laughs> so is there anything you would change about those years? Well, I mean, definitely that um, if you were there more, um, yeah. obviously, but like... Oh, I always thought that I had... An exceptionally good childhood, actually, so it's hard to say that I would change something because it was seemed to be very... It, it's all good feelings looking back good. on everything, The f and it's a lot of the good feelings are surrounding you and your music, oh. and thing, when you made us, you made us little DVDs. With stories and songs on them. <laughs> what I did was I would um, I would tape myself reading bedtime stories, and then I would tape myself playing like acoustic kids songs, and then they would watch it every night before they went to bed, and then so they would watch that every night. Yeah, that was when you guys were little, like three to five years old. Robot book. <laughs> yeah. Um, Pierre doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, cockroach yeah. diet the song yeah um, song i wrote <laughs> Don Gato. oh Don yeah Gato, boy you remember cool. all of it <laughs> we gotta find that dvd i don't but, know where it would be how do you guys feel about my music that i make sometimes sometimes i like hear you play like music like in our living room and then like Two months later, you're just like, I came out with a new song. And first of all, whoa, <laughs> a new song. And then it's the and it's the tune that you were playing in the living oh, room. Oh, that's and you remember it. Yeah, that's that, awesome. That happens like a like every few all months. the time. <laughs> yeah, no, all the time. <laughs> so Scout plays drums and uh, and plays with Lily. Lily has a band called. Lolito and Scout's the drummer. <laughs> so, uh, Scout, you're a drummer, and, and you were around when, like, I was playing with 
you know, terrible things. And we had Josh Eppard from Coheed and Cambria in the band over the house playing drums and all kinds of stuff. Do you think that stuff influenced you having great drummers and musicians around? Yeah, that was pretty good. I definitely think that it was a good experience. Good, good. <laughs> cool. Did you guys hear my newest song? It's called Right I Left. Yes. yes. Now, what about you, Scout? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll, so we, we, we discussed this beforehand, and we don't think Scout heard it yet. So the song is about me going out on tour. And the lyrics are, I left my home too many times on my front porch. My family cried. And I know, I'm sorry. Okay. And, and Evie immediately said she did not want to talk about the lyrics. And I mention you in the second verse. I talk about, since you haven't heard the song, I talk about the van driving away and my son running next to the van. <laughs> Do you by any chance remember this happening? I don't know, maybe, maybe a little bit, maybe. Well, I am, I have always prayed that you would forget that. <laughs> the song is kind of about, you know, hoping that I didn't do any harm to you guys uh, by by do, choosing to go away that much. And, um, you know, I think, you know, y'all turned out so great in your own ways that I, I think, I think you survived. And, um, you know, people would always tell me kids are more resilient than you would think. And so, uh, you know, and obviously when I came home, I would just spend every waking hour I could with you guys and, you know, whatever we, we could do together. And, but, um, but yeah, that's, that's basically what the song was about. And I was hoping that you wouldn't remember running after the van because it was it was a very hard day for all of us <laughs> well thanks you guys for doing this it means a lot to me to have uh some of this documented for my history you know a lot of my youtube channel is uh trying to talk about things i've done in the past and the and also to talk about the present and and uh, I've never had you guys on, and we've actually, it's funny, we've never discussed this before, so thanks for uh, being open enough to say a little bit here and there, and uh, I love you guys, so thanks for doing this. Love you, Pops! I love you! <laughs> <laughs> guys, thanks for sticking with me through this video. It went better than I expected, to be honest with you. But I think it's a question that was worth exploring if you want to hear more about my perspective on this topic, please listen to the song Right I Left out on all streaming platforms. If you like the song, please feel free to share it, put it on your playlist. I really poured my heart into this song and I'd like to see it reach as many people as possible. Also look out for the music video for Right I Left coming soon. And if you want to learn more about my thoughts on touring in general, check out the video I made on Dave Grohl's What Drives Us, as well as my top five tips for touring. The links are in the description below. As always, thanks for liking and subscribing. The only reason I feel empowered enough to make vulnerable type content like this is because of how supportive you guys have always been. So thank you so much, and I will see you on the next one. I wonder. This is Scout and Lily. Can we show a shot of them? Those are Fred's kids. How cute are they? <laughs> Matt Rubano just got trumped.